Hi, my name is Olivia Mendiburu and I am an abstract artist coming originally from the north of Spain, from a beautiful city called San Sebastian. Today is the 2nd of April 2024 and I am answering some questions for an interview from Munich, which is where I live since more than six years now, also a beautiful city in Germany. About my background, I didn't study arts or something like that. I studied business administration in Madrid, in Spain, but I started painting at the age of 70, so I was still at high school and I had a lot of feelings that I had to let go, so to say. So I went to the storage room of my parents' house and then I saw uh, yeah, old colors and I thought, yeah, why not? I could give it a try. And this is what I did. So I took everything I, I found and then I painted my first painting uh, in my bed. And it was very funny. I was also a little bit scared of my mother because I thought, oh my God, uh, I hope I don't um, paint the sheets of my bed as well. Otherwise, yeah, my mom can get very angry. But this didn't happen and I really enjoyed that moment. So I thought I will keep painting. And this is somehow how, how everything started through my feelings, through this need of, yeah, feeling free and not so attached, so to say, from what I was feeling at the moment. And you can imagine as a teenager, your feelings are on fire. <laughs> what really influences my work as an artist is just normal life. So I think that each little moment of life is super meaningful. We don't know, in fact, that we take a lot of decisions every day, every minute. And this has such an influence in the way our future um, will look like and so on that I don't know I love to think about time about life uh, about people and and all of this for me it's very inspiring and whenever I paint I always first I listen to music of course but this music uh, makes me also feel and think about a situation I, I had the, the past days or something like that. And then I, I feel very empowered and encouraged by, by the situation, by the feelings that arise from, from that moment. And it's just about ordinary life, you know, maybe you can have a walk and then you observe people around you, you observe people drinking a coffee, people talking, people laughing, people who look tired and then I also start thinking of wow how are the lives of the, these people and all of these kind of things um, have a huge impact on my art and this is how I see the work from 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 ordinary moments I would say about my biggest influences I mean of course that I love for example the work of a lot of artists, especially I love Pollock and I love Hopper. Like they are very different type of arts, but I love both of them and they have always inspired me a lot. But I would also say that the, the people around me, like my family, my husband, my friends, they have such a big influence on my artwork because I always get like inspired, like moved by the, the stories they tell and everything also they experience. So they, they have a big impact on my, on my creativity, so to say. Right now I'm focusing on exploring different styles. So I don't like to do always the same. I like to change, to try something crazy with different materials and then just something very simple, for example. So I love that journey, the, the, the journey where you are always exploring a new ways of expressing yourself. So it's like 
playing with art, but it's it's also like knowing yourself better and and exploring your personality through art. So, and this is a constant process. I would say I never stopped focusing on that. What I would tell to my younger self would be take it easy, <laughs> be a bit more calm because I was anxious. I wanted to do everything at the same time so that I have time to do more things. And at the end, I was feeling tired most of the times. But for me, this is also part of being young to feel everything with this amazing passion. And yeah, I mean, I guess you want to discover everything and you have so many first times during all these years. That's amazing. So I wouldn't do anything differently. This is why I would tell myself, just be who you are, as you are, discover your world in your way. Um, discover what makes you really happy and just uh, just don't be afraid of what people might think about you. Just do what you want to do. Um, but of course, always accept the consequences of your acts and learn from failure because failure is also so inspiring or at least is what I always felt I was more creative when going through bad situations than when celebrating good situations. So failure, sadness can be super inspiring and super powerful also to create art. About the mediums or techniques I use, I mean, I try to explore and to experiment with everything I see. So I tried with sugar, with everything I, I was able to find in the kitchen, for example. I, I, I tried. I also tried with plastic bags, with, with everything. So of course, <laughs> you can create a lot of shit when you explore, but it's super funny. And you get different perspectives of how you can use materials. And it's super fun. It's a lot of fun. And I think you need to have fun as well when you create. So, When I paint, I always listen to music, always. It can be classical music or jazz or techno or like, yeah, it depends how I feel. Then I listen to a specific type of music, but always. It's very rare that I paint without music. The best reaction someone has had to my artwork, that's, that's difficult. But I would say when you paint something for a very close friend and when the work is done and you deliver it, so to say, that they look at the art like, wow, I love it. Like, wow, this is so amazing. I feel so overwhelmed. Like... I don't know. And then I love when you ask also people, what does this art piece, you know, mean for you? Like, what do you see? And then you get so many crazy and funny answers. Like maybe someone sees a lion, the other one sees like, a, I don't know what. So, and you never thought that this could look like a lion, for example. So, because also everything I do is super abstract. Um, but yeah, what I value the most is that the people are happy, that they really feel a connection with the, with the, with the artwork and yeah, that they like to see it every day when they wake up. <laughs> I hope that people can feel about my artwork, like freedom, like I don't know, explosion of life, um, ordinary life. This is what I said. So for me, um, whatever I do is totally free for interpretation. So, and I don't care what people see. I just care that they just see something that it's meaningful for them. So something beautiful, something ugly, but I, I don't have a specific hope for my artwork, how it should be understood. So for me, art is free, freedom of expression, of feelings, just 
yeah, whatever it is, it's gonna be fine as far as it can create an emotion.